<laughs> okay, so welcome back, guys. I uh, I do have to take some pictures still uh, to get some activity on our account, but I am quickly doing a little run through organization of uh, some of my packing supplies that I keep inside. Um, these are things that you might want to consider getting or just to give you some ideas for for you if you're going to start this up. Uh, so one of the things I have here, let's see, these right here are like for jewelry. I think I picked these up at a yard sale. Uh, they were originally from Ross, so it shows you can get them. But yeah, these are nice for jewelry. Um, if you're going to be doing jewelry or clothes, you want to have a mannequin. I just have kind of like a torso that I use. Um, you can definitely buy a full mannequin, although I have used those. <laughs> They're kind of a pain because you have to take, uh, some of them you have to take off the leg or the arms and then put the outfit and then put it back on. Uh, so having just a torso is usually a, more convenient. Uh, it looks nicer on the full mannequin, but it's still going to look nice even if you just have that one part. So another thing here is this scale. I have a commercial scale. It was about $30 I think on eBay. And we actually have two because we use these scales quite a bit. We have one downstairs, one upstairs. I do have a lot of bubble wrap. We go through quite a bit of it. Yeah, quite a bit. So I'll probably have to order more when we get down to right here. Because you definitely won't, don't want to be without it. Uh, we chose to have an 8-track player because we've come across 8-tracks in the past and have sold a couple. So we want to make sure we have something to test it on. Uh, we have other things that we need to test down here. I have Q-tips that I picked up at the dollar store. Those are good to have on hand because you don't know what you're going to be cleaning. Uh, sometimes you have to get in little crevices and Q-tip usually works very well. And here I just have some blank paper. I got some scissors, box cutter, measuring tape, some, we got some screwdrivers, we got Phillips, we have flatheads, we have drill bits in here, we have different little tools that we might need to use uh, for certain items. We have a bunch of batteries in here, battery charger, um, and we also have different size batteries upstairs as well. We do use quite a few batteries. Uh, just just printer paper down there. We have letter size envelopes here. These are the padded priority flat rate envelopes and those are free uh, on USPS. USPS.com. Yeah, you don't have to have much, not like what we have when you first start off. Just keep it simple. Scissors, tape, different size boxes, bubble wrap, tissue paper. Um, and I also have these. Uh, this kind of personalizes your packages sometimes. So if somebody buys an item, and I don't put this in every package, but these are thank you cards that I randomly pick up. I also have holiday cards as well. So, there we go. So those do get thrown in some packages. Okay, everybody, so here we have a Monster High doll. Her name is Draculaura. She is the daughter of Dracula. So I've put her on this stand. I'm actually selling her with the stand. So I just have a black background. I actually have this little photo box here left in the light. And sometimes I can shine different lights from the other side. Um, but I have her on the black background because she is kind of ghoulish. <laughs> She's a monster high doll, so we want to make her look uh, clean on the photos. Now, this I actually picked up in the bins. Uh, so you can actually buy like foam, like cardboard type, uh, like the foam board to use for posters and signs. You can actually use that as long as it is solid color. You can use bed sheets. You can use the floor as long as you don't have any patterns. Now, if you had a print that was like her dress, well, that wouldn't do because <laughs> that's too busy for the item you're gonna have so much going on so keep it simple make sure you get all the details like her hair her face 
her dress, her shoes. Uh, same thing with other items. Make sure you're taking as many photos. They allow you 12 photos. So make sure you're using as many photos and many angles as you possibly can when you are taking pictures so that the buyer can see what they're getting again before they buy it. And then if they have questions of something they see, they can ask you that. So I'm gonna take these pictures and I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm just gonna take one simple photo. Oops, little, just doing this one hand guys, so hold on. So I'm gonna take a quick photo, make sure it is, there we go. Make sure you focus and get as close as possible. From 2008, so you go to the listing. You can do this and transfer the photos on your desktop. However, I just do it from my phone because it's a lot easier. So you can take photos straight from the application itself. Or what you'll do is you'll go to your gallery and you will take the photo that you uploaded and it populates, see how you get 12 photos? And you'll go to that photo. There we go. Excuse it, I know it's dirty right now. I have to, the last couple of items um, kind of scuffed it up and I really need to clean that up. But you can crop it so it looks better. You can go back and that's pretty much it. So you'll do the rest of the photos. I'll show you what that looks like and then we'll go live on the listing. So. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the photos that I wanted to take and I've cropped them all. And we're gonna go back. So now they're on the listing. Everything, you wanna make sure you check it. You got your price. Um, and then there's another thing to look out for, guys, when you're using the mobile app and also have a template from your computer, is sometimes it won't show the deliver the shipping options here for you. And sometimes you either forgot to input it or sometimes it's there and it's just not showing up on the mobile app. So in this case, it's actually, it is there. I know firsthand that it's there. So it's something that I can just bypass here. And we're gonna preview. And it's gonna show me what it's gonna look like when somebody sees it online. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and list my item. take a little time and this is easy pricing so easy pricing is basically after 10 days that the listing has been active they'll gradually lower your price and they'll um, also if there's buyers that are interested they'll notify them however I don't like to put that on because I like to send out my own offers and I don't like my prices to be lowered um, especially if I know that you know I can get what I'm asking for. So that is pretty much it. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Oh, hi, good morning. <laughs> uh, it is about seven o'clock here in Vegas on a Wednesday morning. We are running behind. Normally we're already there, but we're on our way to the bins. Uh, we pulled all of our orders and we're gonna get those packaged later, but we're gonna go and see what goodies we find and hopefully we can take you inside with us. Because we finally made it to Goodwill. <laughs> we're parking and we're gonna head on in. Here, hard at work. I am doing some research on the items and he is busy digging. So guys, I'm making this purse up here. The water's going to play with that. So I already went to my phone. I typed in what it was, our generation horse. They have these different types of accessories here. So I'm going to search for it. And what I'm going to do, because you can see it's going to bring up a lot of stuff. I make sure that I have selected, sold, and completed. There's Mr. Lark. He's holding the item that I'm researching. He shouldn't be holding any of the items, but he stole it from me. So I'm gonna have to wash his hands now. But I looked here in the leg. See this horse? Not this horse is 
looks like this one kind of sold with a doll looks like they sell for about 20 bucks with the saddle okay this one sold 15.99 free shipping and the ours has some scratch so we have scratches so we have to take that into consideration so we're looking at maybe about ten dollars for this horse so now i have to decide whether or not i'm taking it so i guess you'll see in our haul if we took it all right guys i still have a full basket to go through we have one basket that we've been sorting you can see everybody here is hard at work but i'm gonna get back to work i just wanted to show you what we're working with here so this is how it looks after you're pretty much done with a Sorry, haul I don't know how to explain it. This is what we're going to walk out with. Uh, I've got some tools and stuff down here. And uh, oh, yeah. sorry, to showed you, but there are the bins as you dig through. They're all waiting back there in the back because they're swapping out that bin. But we're done. Um, we're about to walk out. Probably have about $300 in profit here. So not, not a bad day at all. Um, we'll catch up with you as soon as we get to the house. Yeah. Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm gonna show you guys a real quick what's sold video here. Uh, this is Wednesday. Uh, we're missing one item, but we'll go over her later. That is her stand. We're just cleaning her clothes up a bit. Uh, I will go over this real quick because we have a clearance center haul for you uh, coming up at the end of the video. Let's start over here with this sash. This hasn't actually sold yet. However, we have had a bit on it. This is 30 modern boy scout patches and this is something that a lot of people don't know but uh this kind of stuff sells uh lonnie over at garage flips had just sold a whole uh, boy scout uniform pins sash and everything um for over what was it over thirteen hundred dollars something like that and he paid three dollars for it so always be on the lookout for this stuff uh, next up, we got the Yoda hat over here. Yoda hat sold for $9.99. Buyer paid $9.30 shipping. Uh, we have Snoopy. Snoopy plays music. Let me show you real fast. Whoa! All right, well, let's stop Snoopy before he jumps off the table. And he sold for $12.99, buyer paid $7.70 shipping. Uh, next item we'll go over here is this men's Ralph Lauren gray silk wool jacket. This item sold for $34.99, buyer paid $12.80 in shipping. Very, very good quality. No damage, no tears. Clean. Let's move on. Uh, let's talk about this doll here in the bag. Uh, the reason she's in the bag is her hair is, is falling off. I'll put up a picture so you could uh, see what she looks like, but I don't want any more hair actually falling off. We're going to have to package her pretty special. Uh, we did disclose that she's an electronic doll that does not work. I tried many batteries, could not get her to work. She's an old Tiger brand doll. And despite her not working and her hair falling off, I was still able to get $19.99 plus $14.93 shipping. So that is going out. Uh, next item we'll talk about is this right here. This is 16 millimeter film for a Kodak Kodachrome. Uh, very surprising that, that something like this would sell. I know this is very, very old film. You can see right here that there is 10 uh, and a half, I don't know, exposures left. And this is all it is. This is just uh, the cartridge for the film. And I did not open it. And I let them know that it is used and it's still sold. $9.99. Buyer paid $7.85 shipping. Uh, last item that's on the table. Uh, I'll go over the uh, doll that's sold here in just a second. But last item that's actually on the table is this sharper image remote control for a dinosaur. Uh, you always want to keep a, an eye out for these types of re remotes. These and drone remotes, of course. They sell pretty good. RC remotes, not so much. But these um, animal controlling remotes, especially the dinosaur ones, will sell. Uh, this one sold for $12.99. Uh, buyer paid $5.35 shipping. So let's go back to that last item. It is a Precious Moments doll. She sat right here on this stand. 
Uh, she's from 1985. A buyer paid $7.99 and $9.98 in shipping. So again, we're just going to clean her up. I'll show you on the screen right now what she looks like. And we'll get all of that out. And we'll show you what we got at the bins later today. You ready for the show? So we're showing you guys our Goodwill haul. Yes, we are home and we're going through our stuff. So first thing we have here is a Beatles bag. It does have a lot of the like album covers. Oh, keep in mind guys, we spent less than $50 on all of this. So, um, it wasn't a huge haul. Not a big one, but cost of goods very low um, per item, but we'll show you everything. Yes, this is the same material as like a reusable bag, but this I think I'm gonna keep for myself. There you go. Um, next we have a Wii that uh, came with the power cord. Yes, so we have the power cord to the Wii. And I didn't check what revision it is. Yeah, you'd have to bust that open. And see. But if you guys don't know, um, there are different revisions for the Wii. And if you pop off this battery cover right here and just pull it out, you can actually see the motherboard and the revision number. So the revision goes up in increments of 10. And 10 is the first one. You go 20, 30, 40. And anything above 40 is essentially going to be uh, more power efficient and uh, less heat intensive. And also the latest models, like the 50 and the 60, are sought, off, sought after by um, those who mod the systems. So uh, those sell at a higher premium. Uh, the other colors of the Wii, and I'm talking about the Wii with the actual GameCube ports, not the newer Wiis that lay flat, but these Wiis that are colored are going to be your more valuable ones because they're always going to be a later one, 40 or, or higher. Next we have this uh, Kinect. And if you don't know, Connects do sell pretty good, and I, I paid for by the pound, that's less than a pound. As you see, they try to sell it for 15 at the store, but we pay for everything by the pound here. So we'll bring up the next baggie and show you what else we got. All right, so Mr. Lark is excited to see what's next. Uh, so I actually, well, my uh, spear found this for me. It is a Harry Potter trunk, like what he has in the movie. It says deliver to Hogwarts. Now, I thought this was really cool, even though one of the strings is uh, kind of busted there. Um, I, For what I'm gonna be using it for, I think it's perfect. I do have a, lo a lot of Harry Potter stuff um, that I'm either gonna put in here or um, maybe put the books in there. So that's why uh, we grabbed that. And then these cute little shorts, you would actually think are maybe children's shorts, but they're not. If you want, you can look at the hardware on these. Let's see. There you go. It says Build a Bear. It says B A B W, Build a Bear Workshop. And you can also tell no. because it'll have a hole in the, in the um, rear part because that's where the tail goes through. Next item we have here. Uh, now, these are cleaners for. Uh, baby bottles and things. These are these were actually new, and I just put them in the uh, like a Ziploc baggie. I grabbed these because, like I told you, you guys want to keep costs as low as possible. And anytime I see things that I can use uh, for cleaning, I will take them. So these are these will be perfect for cleaning some of the items that we have. Same thing with this. It's just a sticker. Uh, I got a few more that I'll show you later, but. Same thing, you wanna just get things to personalize or um, packing materials. Just keep those costs as low as possible. We got a figurine, little uh, little people, and that's gonna go with our lot of little people. And this is just a Wonder Woman. It says, no stunt doubles, this is all me. And this is for all the moms out there. <laughs> uh, it's just a magnet that I got for myself to put on my, my fridge. Here, this is actually a compass tool. And it's actually from the USPS that I found. And when I was comping some of these out, some of them were about $15 to $30. So something so lightweight, and it's actually new. It ha does not look used at all. So that was a nice little find. And right here we have a Disney Princess plug and play. 
we grab these. Uh, as you know, we're going to be having a second store full of video games and different types of uh, accessories. So this is just one that you plug in to the TV and you're able to play games from it. So that was a nice. And this is another personal buy. I've been needing to replace my makeup case and this one was large enough to hold the things that I want in there and you're going to find a bunch of personal items. So let's, let's look at the next set. Okay, next batch of goodies right here guys. Um, we'll start with the Vegas Golden Knights hat. And I think Golden Knights is doing pretty good right now, especially in Las Vegas. I can sell this locally or I can post it online. I'm sure it'll move really quick. It's in pretty darn good condition. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, next up, I've got these video games. Lego Rock Band. SmackDown vs. Raw 2009, both for the Wii. SmackDown vs. Raw 2009 for the PlayStation 2. And uh, UFC Tap Out for Xbox. Some uh, inserts and manual. So I got Lego Star Wars Vega for PS2. And then PS3, uh, MLB 2K12. So that is either going to go to my collection or I'm going to pair with other games and sell. Next we got <coughs> Wonder Woman here. Okay, so yeah, I can't imagine I'm going to get anything less than $7 for her. So that's a, that's a good pick up. Again, everything here is by weight. Everything total, everything that you see is going to be less than $50 grand total. Uh, here is a scale model. You guys want to look out for this. It does say scale models. It, even on the copyright if you can see underneath that wheel it's on there scale models of the brand uh, this one has bent front wheels and also missing the rubber on the front wheels but still these models go for a lot of money like over a hundred dollars each so this is a really good pickup even though it's in this condition the wheel still works and everything so definitely could probably bend that back and sell it without the rubber let's continue we've got Fozzie here now this plush has surprised me because I looked up Fozzie and uh, I'm expecting to get about $20, $20 for it. And coming up on this uh, Christmas season, it's perfect, holiday season. Moving on, these two items are for a friend. Um, she wanted this Lilo and this, she's been wanting one of these Victoria's Secret dogs. We did let her know that the tail is broken, but she still wanted him. So there you go. Next, uh, this $25 to $30 pack of tarot cards. This is the Golden Tarot of Klimt. Let me show you what a couple of them look like real quick. So here you go, here's a couple of those cards. Uh, really neat. This is the Empress, is what it looks like. Very detailed, uh, a lot of foil. A lot of foil. This one is the High Priestess. Very, very nice set of cards there. So paid by the pound on that, and we're gonna get about $30. There's less, less than a pound. Uh, next up, let me put these back in here real quick. Next up, we've got another lady plush. We don't see lady very often, so it's kind of surprising. Sorry, Alaric is uh, being put down right now for a nap. So the tarot cards again, 25 to 30. And then we got a lady plush, which is the second one now that we've got recently. And she has some beans in her. So definitely not machine washable. Um, but we looked her up and I'm expecting maybe $15 for her. Give or take. So not, not a bad pickup, especially since it's by the pound. Disney Store exclusive. Moving on, I had I found this uh, shipping tube and I said, hey, that's, that's a good shipping tube. I picked it up and these three posters were in there. So let me go over them real quick. This one is Wolverine. Uh, I would unravel it, but I, I, I only have one hand to show you. Uh, this one is Alice in Wonderland, and inside of that one is Ted. So I got three movie posters, they're, they're all double-sided, so that helps in the value. And then I got this glare control static cling film, and this is for windows to prevent glare from, from pretty much happening. <laughs> So yeah, uh, that was a good pickup. Again, paid by the pound. This one, probably a pound, pound and a half tops. And uh, this this film does sell, probably around $30 as well. So, so far, already made our money back just on what's on the table here. We've already shown you what we've gotten. 
There's more to come. Uh, give me a second to pull out some more. Okay, so here's the next set of uh, what is it, five items here. Now we'll start with this guy here. If you want to look them up, these chubbles, you'll see some that are over $100. Uh, really expensive brand. I think he's like $25 maybe just with his tag. So new with tag. Good, good pickup right here. Just a plush. You could probably surface clean him. Uh, next is this German doll. Very old German doll from the 60s. So if you don't know, German dolls are going to sell. Generally, they're, they're high quality dolls. As you can see, her leg moves and shifts, and it's it's all tied together inside. Her eyes open. So she'll be a good uh, flip. I'm not exactly sure what the comp would be on her. Here's some Vince Camuto heels. My wife comped these, so I'm not really sure exactly what I'm expecting to make there. But uh, Vince Camuto is a name brand, and uh, people are definitely out there looking for. It was maybe about a $20 comp, I think. They were selling pre-owned $20 a piece. There you go. So, not a crazy designer brand, but something that'll move and something that'll be 20 bucks. <laughs> Especially for what we paid a dollar. And next we got a Jansport backpack. Um, all the zippers worked. Expect to make another 20 right here, right? Uh, that one was about 15. 15, still. 15 it's super light, it carried our stuff. Okay, next. We have this Milwaukee Sawzall. It's called the Hatchet. Um, this thing goes for around $30. And I got a price on it. I believe I got a price of $3.99. Um, that was it for this. Let me grab... God, we have so much more. Let me grab some more. That's fine. All right, guys. Karina's going to show you the next bag. Looks like we got uh, X regular Xbox Knockout Kings 2002. Uh, generally, EA games, no matter what system they're on, are going to be pretty cheap. But that's not always the case. Like the college football and basketball games, because they had to stop making them because the college athletes weren't getting paid for wow. being represented, etc., etc. So, like NFL, or I'm sorry, NCAA Football 2014. Is one of the most valuable sports games out there. Like the Xbox 360 version can fetch you about $75. It's pretty crazy. Otherwise, they're like a dollar each, so not a big pickup. This I actually did not even know my husband put in the cart. <laughs> so, this is the first time I've seen it. Yeah, it's a nice little plate uh, for Disneyland. Yeah, it looks like a collector's plate. It's a, it super like, light, so I figured, yeah, we could sell maybe. it. I think uh, $15, $20 was a comp, so not bad. Not bad for something that was maybe 50 cents. And that looks like the older um, animation drawings of it. And then in here, let let me uh, let's pull them all out, and we'll stand them up, and we'll show you. Hold on. All right. So these are the three porcelain dolls that we were able to get today. They are actually really, really nice. Uh, they're not. There are broken. some stains, but yeah, there's some stains. Maybe some uh, color fading on some of the dresses. Uh, but they're still really nice. They have really nice detail on them. Again, there's no, uh, like their limbs are not broken because most of them you have to check their hands and their legs and their face because that's where the porcelain is usually at. The bodies are usually stuffed with something. But they all had a stand. We did have another one, but that one ended up being broken. So we just took the three that we found and we did not get to comp this. This was towards the end of our trip. But we've sold a few in the past, and some dolls are pretty pricey, but we've sold a couple in the past, so we took a chance on them. So let's move these back just a little bit. <laughs> and next, my husband found me. What's his name? Uh, Santa's Little Helper from The Simpsons. Did I say that right this time? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I do not normally like to collect plushes. However, I do like the Simpsons. So I and I like dogs. So I took him for myself. And here, this is Grumpy Kitty. You guys might remember him from all the memes online. Grumpy Cat. And he said, I had fun once. It was awful. <laughs> There's a cute little shirt now. Um he, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they said Grumpy Kitty actually passed away. 
So right now some of his stuff are, is about $20 so for a plush, so that's not bad. <clears throat> this purse I also took for myself. Uh, I might try to see if it'll sell because it's actually in really nice condition. And this one was Cora Jacobs. It has really nice, uh, it looks like a fan, like an Asian fan. If you can see in the side of it. There you go, it looks like an Asian fan. And it also has the little Asian fan here. So that had some nice detail. I'm gonna try to sell that since the holidays are coming up. Red is usually, red, gold, and silver are usually really big colors for accessories and clothing. And, and black as well. So I'm gonna see what we get for that. Next. Um, Sapir actually grabbed this one. It is a phone. What did you comp this out at? So just the uh, the regular base and receiver are gonna comp you about twenty dollars. But every every one that I found with an extra uh, handset went for closer to forty dollars, fifty dollars uh, when they had the box. So just going by the pound, this is a this is a very good pickup for for us. Should sell pretty quick if you guys don't know. Uh, cordless phones are still selling despite the cell phone generation. <laughs> All right, so here's the next set of items we have here. Uh, so this right here I actually picked up for a friend. She really enjoys Disney, so uh, she wanted this plush. It's a Hawaiian Taurus Mickey. He's got his little camera, sandals, Hawaiian shirt, and shorts. So that was really cute. Um, next thing here is... This is a picture of Richard Thomas. I think it's when he was doing the Waltons. We also got this postcard of Shirley Temple. A black and white cover there. It's pretty. Oh, sorry, buddy. There we go. I also picked up, uh, these were personal buy. I got some Billy Holiday CDs. I am missing disc one, but that's okay. I really enjoy her music. Uh, so that's a nice, jazz and swing type music this little guy of course is Mario if you don't know who he is get out of our channel <laughs> just kidding <laughs> <laughs> just kidding guys but we did pick up this guy uh, this is gonna go in Sapir's room as a decoration maybe if I got room <laughs> I'm sure we'll make room we'll for him. he's in a little parachute he's adorable you're right <laughs> I was able to get a vitamin C iPad sample here. You're gonna find lots of types of samples, so that's a great way to try things out without having to buy them. This guy here, I believe he's from Showline Toys. Now he is missing a foot, you can see there, and a hand. And what we've told you guys before, I mean, he's well made, guys, well made. And some of their toys actually come out to I don't know, like $80 because of how well made they are. So he's actually going to be used for replacement pieces or the outfit, which is why we grabbed him. I wasn't able to find him specifically online, so I couldn't comp him, but he was he was worth the chance on that one. This right here is just a wig. And why did I get a wig? Well, number one, Wigs, if you don't know, can actually sell if it is an actual quality wig. And this has this little ombre style going on here. So those do sell. I've sold actually quite a few locally. And if not, it's Halloween time. So who knows <laughs> what will happen to that. <laughs> this is a chip clip, another personal item. It's uh, M&M's there. If you guys have been watching Matt over at Part-Time Pickers, uh, you'll know that he's been selling a lot of vintage chip clips and they have been flying off of his store. So we picked this up really with the knowledge of knowing that he's been doing this very well with them. Yes. And they're also useful. So if anybody needs a chip clip. <laughs> you know where to find one. <laughs> All right, next is this magnet. This was a personal pickup. We actually went on vacation this summer to Illinois, and we were going to go to the Lincoln Park Zoo in Chicago. However, we did not get to make that trip to the zoo, so we ended up at the Milwaukee Zoo. 
So next is this little guy from, is he cars or planes? I think he's planes, if I'm not mistaken. I imagine he's planes, but I don't yeah. know. He's kind of, he's a die cast figurine, it feels like. He's well made. He's got a few scuffs, but even something this small can sell alone or can be lotted up. And, and next... you can see here that it's a Mattel. Maybe you can see. I don't know. I'll try. Come on, 1080. <laughs> All right, moving on. Moving on. Next is a pack of American Chopper cards. I picked these up for my brother. My younger brother actually collects playing cards that are, um, I guess, uh, they have to be a certain type, but he collects them, so grab them. I don't know if he wants them, but he's getting them. <laughs> Next, I picked up just this, it's a Halloween candy bag, because it's Halloween time. And this is gonna be Alaric's first time trick-or-treating, so we would like for him to have fun and we need something to hold this candy in. So let's see what we got here. <laughs> oh, like superior, superior, superior. <laughs> this is like the uh, the rule book. Well, actually, it's it's the pre rule book. Oh. But the board game uh, itself sells for over a hundred dollars. So the instruction manual replacement. I mean, just pieces of this game sell for like ten dollars here or fifteen dollars there. So this is a good pickup because it's 25 cents. So. Sorry, I hadn't looked at this. Uh, we had some other games workshop stuff and it was just catalogs to order stuff. So that's what I thought. But cool. Uh, let's see what else we got here. It looks like more games. Pure made out today, huh? Oh, I got Ghostbusters. The only who are you gonna who, call? <laughs> I'm the only one who really watches movies, but it here. Uh, we got this for a friend as well. If you don't know, uh, she's a Japanese singer. Yes. So, we got that one. I picked up Our Lady Peace for myself. Again, I don't normally buy CDs, but, you know, I did enjoy this album growing up, so I'm going to take that one. Pierre also found me this. It's Coloring and Search. So, it's got some really cool... Imagery, very fun things, very detailed. And adult coloring books are pretty big right now. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty exciting. Unused. Can't we? Yeah, it's unused. I don't. Are you selling it or are you using it? Ah uh, well, we can check the comps on it, and if it does well, then we'll put it online. If not, then that I will be getting into when I'm bored. So here we already have. For the Wii, we have Alice in Wonderland. It's like the manual to Star Wars. Connect Joyride for the 360. DDRX for PlayStation 2. Connectimals. Another Wii game, Cookie Mama. And was this one a game? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Fantasy Star Online for Xbox Live. Yeah, no, a lot of those titles don't have a lot of value, but... When you, when you lot up video games, your value tends to go up. Also, when I sell my systems, it's going to be um, combined with them. So, anyway, moving on. Now this is also another item for our friend. And she does like Disney, guys. And I picked this up, Dap Cap, because it looks like a useful tool. <laughs> it's for when you cock the shower or the sink uh, so you don't have to actually use your finger. It's made out of like a plastic, so that's gonna be coming in handy. So, I got some tissue paper because the holidays are coming up, and I will use this either for personal use or, like I said, if you want to personalize your boxes, uh, you can certainly do that. And keeping costs low is what we want to do. And I think I also got some stickers, these are Martha Stewart craft stickers. They're flowers, they're beautiful. Again, packaged material stuff. And you've seen in several of our other videos, we pick up uh, workout uh, DVD sets. And depending on the title, they usually do well. So this is Jillian Michaels, and I don't know what you comp this out at. I think it was 30 to 40 so for the complete thing, and that's what it is. Awesome. 
Um, then we also grabbed this McFerrin scale and arpeggio manual for the piano. And they're going to tear you a new one for that <laughs> I'm pronunciation. I'm sure they are. <laughs> Well, that's okay. Oh, yeah, it's just, yeah, no compositions. Exactly. And when I comped this, um, they there was a couple that sold for about 15 so I just grabbed that. And it didn't really cost us, but maybe, what, a quarter on that one? Yep, maybe super cheap. So we're still not done, guys. I know. I know. That's we've funny. got we've got a little bit more here. We'll be right back. Talking about them as she's pulling them out. Uh, I talked about paint samples before. This is actually better than the Bear. This is the Sherwin-Williams. So with this one, I'm looking to get around $30. It's a good one. I uh, picked this one up for $0.25 because I got charged for a magazine. That's wonderful. Uh, I got some labels. They were $2. These are uh, 6x4s. I don't think they'll work in a Dymo, but still. They're actually UPS labels. I don't know if you can see that. Super cheap. I'll take it. Um, here is a transfer pack for a Nintendo 64. I got this lens, comped this one out. I think it was around 40 bucks. Let's see what else we got here. Um, some fabric. I don't, what is this? That is a magnetic scarf. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yes. And it has a tag. So when you are shopping at the clearance center not only are you going to get stuff for yourself personally um, but you're also going to be wanting to be on the lookout for christmas gifts and birthday gifts and these are for our friend mm -hmm. okay so she again she loves disney so we got these two donations um moving on easy bake oven mixes these these do not expire guys and this sells better than the oven does isn't that pretty crazy though it's very crazy. I mean, the, the oven is, is cheap, and you just collect some of these. You could, you could look them up uh, on eBay right now. You collect a few of these, and you can lot them up and make $50, $75, depending on how many you have. Um, next we have, uh, I believe this is a Barbie. We grabbed her. Uh, she was in a bag with him and her, which I believe this is Brie, Brie Larson. I'm, I don't know. I think it's Brie Larson. And then this guy, who I, I don't know where he comes from, uh, they were also with Wonder Woman, who you saw earlier. So they were just all in this little toy bag that we grabbed. Uh, this here is Jack-Jack uh, Jack from The Incredibles. Uh, it's not a McDonald's. It's Jack-Jack. Okay. And then here are, I picked up some screwdrivers, because I'm, I'm always in the need for screwdrivers. Why not? Right, Especially small tests, ones like yeah. that. A lot of testing. Karina picked up this neat little pen. <laughs> Okay. And it still works, so yeah. I'm gonna give it to Alara. He'll have fun with that. Here is a um, is yokai it? watch. Anime, right? Anime video game type of deal. I don't know what it's supposed to hold there, but it it feels like it's either PVC or ceramic. I can't really tell. No, it's PVC. Um, here is PJ Masks. Always be on the lookout for them, especially if they're not McDonald's toys. Got this mini. Um, Hello Kitty purse. I don't know what this is for, but my wife thought it was cute. <laughs> I got uh, this guy. I don't, I don't know if it's Raiden. It looks like Lego, but I don't see any actual Lego marking. Oh, I lied. There's a Lego mark right there if you can see it in the lake. So he is official Lego keychain. I think it's a purse charm. Purse charm. Okay, that makes sense. This is a, um, what do you call it, bungee? A bungee lanyard. Um, what are these? Oh, these are uh, from a Nintendo 64 game. I have the game, but I do not have these inserts, and they were just sitting there. Um, this is a magnet. That... It's a picture frame. It sits like a picture frame. Ah, it sits like a picture frame, and it says, Carpe the hell out of this diem. <laughs> so, it's probably going to go on my desk, to, just to remind me to... Really tackle every single day, pretty much. Take advantage of what what's in front of me. I also scored these. They're tweezers, but they're unicorn tw tweezers. <laughs> they're brand new, actually. <laughs> uh, stack of cards here. Most of them are this. I don't, I've never heard of this. Most of them are that. 
Um, and just a bunch of jewelry that we picked up. They're today. actually, most of them are ornaments. So we've got a little truck here. Christmas time is coming. These are more ornaments here. So this is actually uh, from Gans as well. I think they're all Gans, crystal ornaments. There's some religious ones, little stands that have little sayings on there. And religious stuff tends to do well uh, on the market because, you know, people have strong beliefs and want to, you know, show that to the world. So these are just little ornaments. You even found two pennies. So you made some money already. <laughs> and that, that's pretty much the, the end of our haul. Um, and the end of the video, really. I mean, there's, there's nothing left. Lot. We did not spend very much time there. We had other stuff we needed to get done. Yeah, we were out by noon. Yeah, about 12.30, Pretty quick. o'clock. So. Uh, we saw Paul there. Um, he's one of our viewers. And he has he's his own one channel. of our good friends. What's up, Paul? Uh, I'll put a link down below. He, uh, he plays a little bit of guitar, does some covers. Oh, he doesn't have a lot of videos out, but yeah. And we also got to see Stefan. He does, uh, I think it's Vegas Thrift Finds, I think. He's on Instagram. We'll put that link there as well, so you yeah, can go check out the below. stuff. He always finds amazing things. Shout out to him. Yes, because he, oh, he has the gift, guys. He manages to walk in at whatever time yeah he'll come at four and they close at 5 30. he'll come at four and and he'll just he'll put out he'll pull out a gopro from the bins i'm not even right. joking he just has this magic gift and he always walks away with just a minimal amount of things and they're always good items so yeah he has some stuff on his uh, instagram so you can look at as well so thank you for uh, coming along with us and viewing our haul today our huge haul that was again less than fifty dollars guys this is it's crazy and look look at how much profit how many items did we say we're going to sell for thirty dollars or more we had, i don't even know what we're going to get on the tractor or or that cowboy mm -hmm. gentleman right there i and all the there's so much value stuff that we got i mean yeah we that's just a cherry back, on top and we get free stuff <laughs> not only made our money back we made I would say close to $300 profit here. Yeah, I would say there's about $350 in value collected with everything that you've seen. Okay. So, so very you good. You never know, be on the lookout for things. Uh, thank you again. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. Don't be afraid to leave comments or ask questions so we can.